Hey, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another layout for Make Paper Art and you can see there there is a code that you can use for 10% off in the store and I'm using a cut file called Granny's Garden. I loved it because it has a vase or a vase as you may say with flowers and some stems with leaves and also some leaves on their own. So I haven't cut the leaves on their own, I've just decided to cut these ones with um, with the leaves on them and what I did was mirrored some of them so that they weren't all the same if that makes sense. So I'm just taking um, each of the three elements off my mat so you can see them and my plan is to have the vase obviously with flowers coming out of it. So I have this, um, this is Ava's passport photos and um, passports here are digital but you can still get the photo taken which we did and so um, we were left with the photos so they're really really super cute and I really wanted to use them I don't end up using them I wanted to keep them together as one because that's how they come I didn't want to cut them apart and um, in the end you'll see that the scale of the vase is um, too small against the size of the photos so I'm just showing you quickly how I back my flowers. I'm using a kit that I've made from my stash. Um, it's meant to be for our Fiji trip, but I needed some green for the leaves. And it, the, the kits that I'm working with at the moment, I'm either sort of halfway or nearly finished with them. So I wanted to get some product that I had a lot of... Um, I guess embellishments and also papers to choose from and this kit that I've made is quite big I'm gonna share it um, next month and anyway you'll see it there I've already filmed that video so here is um, my vase and my flowers I have made one flower more vibrant by focusing on um, more of the dark pink in that beautiful paper I think it was an Amy Tangerine paper from a paper pad that I won at a crop so one of the things I loved about the homemade kit was that I was able to use papers that were just sitting in my stash and uh, literally sitting in the paper pads. So um, I'm thinking this is my idea here. Um, sorry about the shading, it's spring and the light isn't that great. It's a bit like um, autumn light, it's quite hard to work with too. So I wanted to jazz up this background a little bit, so I've just gone with a green and white mixed together watercolour splatter and I think I added some blue as well it's hard to tell oh yeah I am now um I had to make myself stay away from pink and yellow which I would naturally have gravitated towards but I wanted that to be limited to the flowers only so I've cut that vase on a, a piece of pattern paper that's striped with um, gold foiling and then because I want to um, raise up the vase I needed to put white cardstock underneath and also because I didn't want the splatters to show through and um, it also enables me to tuck the stems behind so you'll see that soon so I've just really roughly cut out a piece of white cardstock because that pack that um, vase has got holes in it that's why I need to back it so just quickly doing that and then you'll um, I won't show you all of it but I'll show you that I will put some foam just behind it. I love the, the B side of that paper too, it's got a beautiful floral. So just trimming it out because I think um, I stuck it on and that glue is so quick drying that um, I couldn't really move it. So just some craft foam, just trimming that down. I used double sided tape and liquid adhesive to glue that down so yeah. I use my mat here because I wanted to find the center uh, to make sure that that vase ended up centered. So just um, adhering that there and it's not perfect I mean yeah I just sort of eyeballed where the center was. So now I am working with these stems. I think that one in the middle I also enlarged so that they weren't all the same. Um, I did struggle a bit with the positioning. I had originally was going to do four flowers and I cut four out on my mat. I think I cut four stems as well but I could only make three work and I like the idea that you know the whole rule of uneven numbers when it comes to design and the use of threes. Um, 
I'm happy with how this works out. It doesn't take away from the photo. And the photo that I decide to go with is featuring flowers anyway in quite a subtle way. So here I'm just using my liquid adhesive to glue the stems down. I also thought about backing the leaves, but I was quite I like them empty, if that makes sense. And I think the focus really is on the vase and the flowers. So I'm aware that I've got a gap between um, the two, the flower in the middle and the flower that I'm putting the pop dots on right now. And you'll see that I'll fill that with something when I come to embellishing. Um, at this point I'm still wanting to use this photo. So I've got this um, beautiful teal paper with a cross on it, um, also in my kit of course. And um, what I love about my kit is that I was able to use partial pieces of paper for my stash as well. So you can see here that it's looking, um, it's just, the size is too much the same, it's dominating the vase. And I, I didn't want to do that, I, I think it really needed a smaller photo. So I reluctantly had to not scrap that photo. This photo, um, I've edited it, it's taken on my iPhone. We go to Manly Music, which is like a toddler preschooler uh, song and dance session at a little church in Arrowtown. It's amazing. Um, the ladies are so great. My kids adore it. Um, just the two little ones go. It's on a Tuesday during school time. We go in the morning. And so when we'd left, um, it was spring and there was a man doing the garden and he gave each of my girls these little daffodils. And there were many little daffodils and they loved them. And of course I had to snap a photo by favorite big tree at the church and so I've edited the photo but the quality is not that great but it doesn't matter because it's really all about the memory of that day and so I thought that um, the softness of the flowers would go really well with this photo so this is um, Paige Evans I think it's Fancy Free her first collection and I won some I had commented on um, I think Celine Navarro's post when it first came out and I actually won a, a quite a lot of the collection but of course it was too beautiful I struggled to use it because it was so beautiful but now I've put it in this kit and it's forcing me to use it up and I'm so happy that I'm able to get it on the page so I've got the um, journaling cards and the ephemera pieces here so just going through and as you can see I've got a lot to use so I'm loving um, I don't think I got any paper of the collection. That's, that may be another reason why I struggled to use it. So when you build a kit, you can put bits and pieces in with other papers and it works really well. So I'm just going through trying to work out um, what title I want. I didn't want to use any thickers. I wanted to use a pre-made title. So there's a few um, phrases in the ephemera pack. I put some foam down to um, lift up my photo. And I like that you can still see the vase um, underneath that photo. So I thought that Cherish the Here and Now was perfect. And a little heart that I've popped up. And then I love that that word says on that little tab, says routine, because that's what we do on a Tuesday. Um, I did think about filling in the gap and the other gaps with those um, pieces of phrases where they are, but in the end they were too much. I love that button that says Fancy Free. It must be from this collection. Um, I'm not quite sure. And then um, I saw on the sticker sheet, the puffy stickers or enamel stickers, the word most favourite. Now, if you've got more than one child, um, you'll know that if you put that on a page about one child, likely that other children will comment that how come so-and-so is your most favourite. So I thought the one way to use it would be to add the word routine underneath. And I can call this most favourite routine on a Tuesday with these ones, these kids. And um, I think it works really well. Then I saw this little um, cloud and these cute little crosses coming down from it like raindrops. And I thought that would be the perfect thing to fill the gap because, you know, it rains in spring quite a lot. Um, I'm adding my journaling. And what you don't see is I go back and add the word happy over the top of that cloud just to soften and bring a more sort of pastel or yellow colour to the top of the page. So that is my layout. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you head on over to Amanda's Etsy store. I'll put the link below and you can check out some close-ups of this layout coming up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again soon.